hey guys hannah here welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is going to be cut crease cut crease one one of my favorite uh, makeup look so i'm going to show you how i did this this is very uh, quick and very easy uh, beginner friendly makeup look so i'm going to be start with the uh, full face makeup i already did my face and my lips and everything else so this is going to be only focusing on the eyes so i'm going to be using the morphe 35k palette i'm taking the first shade as a transition color with my mac 224 brush and i'm taking this on my crease and really uh, really pushing it into my crease and blending it upward and i'm blending it to the brow bone and make sure um, it's very blended into the brow bone area so the brow highlight and the transition color are blended together and make sure it's very blended there are no harsh line in between and i'm mainly focusing on the area i'm showing you here mainly on the center of the crease and i'm taking the second color it's a little bit deeper than the first one the first uh, transition color we use and i'm taking the same brush but it's uh, thinner by overuse this is also mac 224 but it has some shading because i use it for a long time so i'm taking um the brush and taking the deeper brown and pushing it into the my crease i'm not going uh, higher with this color like i did with the first one but i will only keep it on the crease area so it doesn't uh, go up darker and i'm only blending it out just the edges and i'm not going out on the outer too much like i did on the first brown color and now i'm taking um this concealer you can use concealer or eye primer for this purpose so i'm cleaning it up i'm cutting the crease now using the concealer and this flat brush from mac i'm not sure which number it is i will list the number of the brush down and i'm taking this uh, concealer from revlon you can use concealer any concealer you have i prefer to use thinner concealer so that it doesn't feel heavy on the eyelid and take your time this is an uh, important part for this look so you need to take your time and make sure the line is not uh, like zigzag or not it, it have to be even so take your time as you're doing it's like you're doing your eyeliner so the line have to be like sharp because the, the crease will appear cleaner if you do this step and so just take your time and try to make the line seamless and even and so i'm taking this matte uh, shade color from the palette the lightest color from the palette and i'm setting the concealer i'm setting the, the crease the cut crease with this beige kind of beige nude uh, matte eyeshadow from the palette and i also like to set all the way on the, the wing area and i'm not doing eyeliner today i don't feel like doing eyeliner so i'm taking this the second brown shade which we use on the deeper crease area and i'm taking this small shader brush from mac and i'm just uh, shading it on my uh, lash area and also take i'm taking it on my lower lash and i'm just blending it with a Vidalium Tools crease brush kind of connecting it together with the crease area and so I'm taking this flat brush flat definer brush from MAC and I'm taking the black um, eyeshadow from the palette and pushing it into the lash line my lower lash line and also the upper lash line because I'm not wearing any eyeliner this is going to help to, hi to hide uh, any space between the lash uh, i'm going to be wearing and my uh, lash line and also it's going to give a very nice smoky eyeliner look 
and so I like doing this technique whenever I'm not wearing um, eyeliner and so now I'm taking the beige eyeliner from Inglot uh, with eyeliner brush and uh, apply it in my waterline you can use white liner but I think beige um, liner looks more natural than the white one and put uh, on your mascara before you drew your lashes and I'm using this old lash mink lash which I used before and uh, I'm going to be using lower lashes from flatter lashes Tiffany these are very nice lashes for the lower lash I like how this look turned out with this lower lash and that will be the look for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do please give this a video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel if you're not subscribed to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and till I see you on my next video uh, thank you guys I love you so much bye